Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll go over the key things that I do when I'm setting up a new bubble project. So here I've just launched a new project called job board. This is going to have all the learnings and all the improvements uh, related to uh, bubble development that I have uh, learned and tried and implemented and created over the past several years. Uh, this video will be, com will be completely focused on setting up a nice workflow and a nice setup to be able to rapidly develop applications on bubble. So first starting off, um, I, I do not like the defaults in bubble. I want to get rid of all of them. And that's what we're going to focus in this video. So first, first, the first part is to create a page, which we would like to use. And since the index page cannot be renamed to anything, and it needs to be an, a default page, we are going to clone this page and call it a base template, base page, base page template. All right. And I'll you I'll be the, the purpose of doing this is I'll be duplicating and cloning these this page as we go about creating additional pages for our application. Now coming over uh, now moving over to the properties. So first, let's just give it a nice title. Um, jobs at no code n zero d zero n z n zero c zero d d e dot com. That's my company, and I I'll, I'll use the rest of it to um, you know populate page titles to enhance the SEO at a later point. Now, next styles remain. Uh, I'll, I'll choose the background color to let's keep it at white actually. And the layout is the important part. We do not want a fixed layout. We want to align to parent layout pretty much always uh, so that we get the response, uh, flexibility of responsiveness, flexibility of arrangement, and I'll cover additional things as we progress to further sessions. Width for the UI, uh, let's maintain it 1080 for minimum height. Let's use 800. And this is again completely responsive. And this is a nice setup for the base page template. All right. Cool. Now let's go to some settings. So let's go to the settings one by one. First, depending on the agency, depending on the plan you are on, I will change mine to agency plan because I'm an agency. I do professional bubble development for clients. And, uh, and you know, this gives me flexibility to do everything that you would be able to do in a professional application, uh, in a professional plan, but um, it needs to be protected by username password since you're doing to, doing to do it for an a, for a client. And once you're ready, you're going to transfer over the application to them. Now coming out to the general tab, general tab, very uh, important uh, points here. I'll just uh, make this NCNC to make it simple. Uh, redirect users. This is a pretty decent to, thing to have. Uh, allow app to render an iframe. Um, I, I, I kind of like this because I try to embed my application in various places, particularly Notion. So I'm going to use that. Do not set cookies on uh, users by default on new visitors. Let's leave that. Let's put a favicon. I like favicons. Let me drop in a favicon here. Um, and let me just quickly pull it up. be good if I'm if I'm more organized and I have a good way to pull up stuff pretty quickly but anyway here we are all right so I've got my favorite favicon here the noco.com favicon let's put that in there okay nice looking um, spinner color I don't like this default color let me use um, let me use blue I like blue more um, Remove the bubble mention, depends. Let's just remove it. It doesn't really matter too much, but let's do that. Uh, you can upload icons here, depending on uh, depending on how you're going to use it for iOS appearance, etc. That is cool. Um, the color palette, we will come to this a little later. Let's see if we reset it, yeah. You get a couple of options, I believe. Um, and I'll show you a couple of options, a couple of ways to do this uh, a little later. Uh, so let me note down some points. Um, let me let me make a to do to create a color color a color palette for 
bubble applications. All right. Now uh, let's go on to the styles. I hate the styles. Let's move. Let's delete all the styles. All right. I'm deleting all the styles. Just like one by one. Delete it. Delete it. Let's delete it. Uh, for LS, I'm going to use the error. mainly flat button. Let's delete. Outline button. Let's delete. Primary button. Let's delete. Our standard checkbox. Let's delete. Let's actually they've improved a bit of stuff here. Mm, let's keep standard checkbox. Date picker. You see, they've improved on stuff here. Um, standard drop down. Okay, let's keep it. Upload. Let's keep it. Floating group. Floating group. Let's um, maybe maybe let's keep it. Group order. Maybe let's keep it. Standard group. Let's keep it. Standard group focus. Let's keep it. Um, standard HTML. There's nothing here. That's okay. Let's keep it. Standard icon. Mm, let's keep it. Standard icon. Let's keep it. Um, repeating group. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna delete this. Let, let's create our own styling later. For body, body large. Let's just delete it for now. Heading one. Let's just delete it for now. Heading two. Let's delete it. Heading three. Let's delete it. Let's delete all this stuff. All the stuff. Let's just keep deleting. It. Okay. Delete, delete, delete. Let's delete. We're already deleting more today. Section heading. Delete. Slider input. Delete. Let's configure this once so that we kind of have control. Now defaults mess with my thought process because um they come with their own set of stuff. Which uh, you know I tend to forget. Let's actually delete the stuff. Let's let's create it from scratch. Let's delete everything. All right, so I just go for deleting everything. Um, <sighs> beautiful. Okay, we've deleted everything. Style variables. Style variables will come to this. Let's use a different font. People tend to use a Leto. Uh, people used to use Inter actually. Let's use Inter. Okay, let's make this the. You can set default fonts. You can set set up up to eight total. And app fonts. Okay, apply to all styles using app, app font family. Uh, app font as their family styles. All right, we'll come back to that color variables. This is a good thing actually. Uh, we'll come back to this. Um. Plugins, um, let's keep plugins. Let's go to settings now. Settings, here we are, language. Uh, let's keep this as is. SEO tags, now here's an important thing. Okay, so here, let's call, call it um, title. A fast, elegant, and easy to use job board. This is a site name, title, site name. Yeah, that's fine. Site name should be fine. Job board by no code.com. A fast and uh, a beautiful job board built. For no coders for creators, creators, solopreneurs. See, this is the problem. I like. I, I want to show you my other tool called Talk to Audio, where you know I can think and write and type it out. And um, creators, solopreneurs, and entrepreneurs. All right. Thumbnail to be used for links. Let's. Uh, Let's uh, clear this and let's put in the no code thumbnail again. Okay, that's good. Um, expose type of tags for text elements, point URL to primary domain for better SEO. Let's keep that, customize, expose the sitemap file. This is pretty useful. And here we're gonna add everything because this is always a good thing to do. It helps in uh, Google crawling. Um, Redirects will come to later. Hosting files will come back to later, and um, will enable enable workflows, enable data API. Uh, we'll we'll need to enable these for the um, for the each of the things. I'm not going to use field display. I'll use it raw. Let's keep that. Let's generate an API token. Um, API key one. All right. Um, we are not going to hide the swagger access because I'm going to use my other tool for form generation. Uh, default avatar while creating an account. Uh, this is useful for discourse. Let's keep it as is for now. All right, now a couple of things also um, here. Uh, There's one, one thing that I'd like to Q. 
keep here which is called expose yeah okay so enable time side time zone override controls let's just keep that for now okay let's enable time zone override controls for every level all right and i believe that's basically it okay